What's up? What's up? I do the shaka for you. Hey, the way YouTube. And just PG. That's for you guys. And Spencerian. Shaka. There you go. I think today is May 4th. Or May 5th. I don't even remember. But this is uh, the week of final exams where I teach. So I've been going a little bit later than usual. I don't know if you can tell by the look of the road, but it has been raining. And they say we'll have showers off and on today. Normally I wouldn't ride in the rain because it's a pain in the butt to clean this bike. But the bike is already dirty, so I don't really care. If anything, it'll probably clean the bike up a bit. Uh, let's see, my, I'm clear. All right, all right. Okay, so I actually have a topic today. Isn't that amazing? The topic today is about language, specifically English. As I was logging off of YouTube the other day, I saw this little video, featured video thing that said language. So I said, well, I teach English, so I love language, so let me click on it. So I did. And it was the governor wannabe, the candidate for governor for Alabama. And he's basically going on about how if he becomes governor, he's going to create a law that requires everybody in the state to speak English. Now, of course, the obvious irony is that the, the way he's speaking English with the southern accent and all is you know, laughed at by the snobs from the north and pretty much everywhere else. That's not my contention at all. I'm against the English-only policy. And I know you're going to be saying, oh god, this guy is a liberal. But let me explain why I'm against the English-only policy. Uh, but before I explain why I'm against it, let me first uh, talk about my feelings toward English since I'm an English teacher. This country speaks English. That's obvious. Everybody here, you know, born and raised pretty much speaks English. Unless you're born and raised in Miami, which, you know, I've, I actually met a student. I had a student from Miami who didn't speak English as a native language. Anyway, the language of the country is English. And I have no problem with that whatsoever. And I do think that if you want to get ahead in this country, then you should speak the language that everyone speaks. Because if you, if you go by the other rationale, saying everybody should speak everybody else's language, then you know, you're going to spend your entire life in school learning every language. There are 6,000 languages. Many of those languages are here, so what are you going to do? Learn 6,000 languages? I don't think so. So yeah, English. You should be you should be speaking English. That's that's an obvious fact. Duh. We shouldn't have to learn German and Italian and French and Spanish and Portuguese and Japanese and Korean and Chinese and Vietnamese to accommodate the people who come here. It's just it takes too much time. I don't think it's bad to learn a second language. I think it's wonderful. I speak two other languages fluently. And I want, I think it's wonderful, I, 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 uh, I suggest it to everybody, if you can, learn a second language, travel, see the world. But now let me get into why I'm against this guy's policy here to, you know, speak English here in America, let's make a law. I hate it when people say, we, we need to make a law. There ought to be a law! Right there get into more government. Government's getting into your lives everywhere. They're sticking their finger in your face all the time. Put on a helmet. Wear a seat belt. No smoking in, in this place. No smoking in that place. Pretty soon they'll outlaw smoking altogether and you'll have, just like marijuana, they have thousands and millions of people in jail because they smoke cigarettes. So the first reason I'm against making a law to require everybody to speak English is because it's more government. Another agency. People are going to have to get fined or whatever. I don't even know what the hell the problem would, would develop. But that's one of the one of the easier ways to argue. But here's here's the way that's tough for people to get around. And this is this is my main argument. The United States Constitution 
clearly mandates that Congress shall make no law that abridges the freedom of speech. Look it up. You can't get around that. The United States Constitution is the supreme law of the entire country, not just of the federal government, but of the states as well. No state can make a law that runs counter to the Constitution of the United States. Now, the Constitution of the United States is something that people are right now fighting and dying to defend. I myself have taken the oath to preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States when I served in the United States Peace Corps. My father was a United States Marine. My uncle was in the Army and got shot by the Germans. I got a silver star for it. My grandfather was in the Pacific and watched his very best friend get killed when a kamikaze hit his best friend on an aircraft carrier. So I am fully aware of the sacrifices made in defense of the Constitution of the United States. And to say, let's make a law that spits in that Constitution, I think that's the biggest insult you could possibly imagine. And that pisses me off. Sure, if you want to make a law that says English is the, uh, the, the only language you can use, well, first you have to say, well, let's make a campaign to modify the Constitution, to make an amendment. You need two-thirds of the states to do that. So I don't really think that's likely. So shut up. Do not spit on the Constitution of the United States. English cannot be the official language, because if it is the official language, then the government would require people to speak English, and that is an abridgment of your freedom of speech. It's not because I'm a liberal, because I'm not a liberal. I'm an independent. I'm a constitutionalist. Do not spit on the Constitution. So, there's my rant for today. Speak English only. Yeah, let's, let's just take out our muddy boots and stomp all over the Constitution for a while. Never mind that, you know, hundreds of thousands of people have died defending it. Anyway. I, I got, I got my, uh, got my dander up, as you can see. So, folks, I hope you're not too mad at me. And if you are, well, we can agree to disagree. How's that? Damn, no parking spaces. No parking spaces. What the hell? What am I going to do? I know what I'm going to do. I know what I'm going to Oh, there's a parking space right there.